Hey everybody, it's the 4K Lowdown, and it is time for part 8 of my 4K Steelbook collection. Um, I actually have made 14 purchases, so I've got 10 here. We've got 4 that I'm leaving for next time, because i got more coming. You know i got more coming. Um, but let's get it started. So, we'll start off with Hell or High Water. This is from Lionsgate, and it is a beautiful steelbook. Lionsgate just kills it. So the glasses are see-through. It's pretty nice. And then the artwork on here is just amazing. I can get a good look at that. That looks better. Next one. Let's get two. Who did this one? I don't think this is a landscape. Mainly because there's no slipcover. I mean, I checked that. But anyway, this is Smoking Aces. beautiful it's colorful get you where you need to go inside looks pretty nice this is a good steel look I like it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't tell I can't tell which company did this. Universal maybe? I think it's Universal. All right. Next, of course, we've got the Batman. Um this is the Best Buy one with the question mark. I'm not I'm not disappointed that I have this. I pre-ordered it really early because I missed out on on No Way Home. So when this one became available, I jumped on it right away. So that's the Batman. The next one, this is from Disney, and this is Turning Red. Uh, my granddaughter loves this movie. She's three years old. So I bought the Steelbook, and I like the 4K transfer better than what they show on Disney+. Plus. I really do, so I'm glad I got it. But it's a cute movie. I said my granddaughter can't get enough of it. She knows now to, she spots the movie on the shelf because I have it like like this side out and she points to it, wants to watch that all the time. And I'm okay with that. Next up is The Untouchables. This is again, again from Best Buy. And because there's no slip, I am pretty sure this is, yeah, this is Paramount. So I've noticed that Lionsgate tends to do the slips. But this is nice. 
I'm I'm very pleased with the steelbook. I have not watched the 4K transfer yet of this. It's definitely on my list of things to do. But I have a whole bunch to watch, so we'll see. All right, next up is the Born Complete Collection on 4K. And this is all five movies in one case. Again, I got this through Best Buy. Um, so it is the 4K and Blu-ray, and I don't care for how it's done because you got all the 4Ks on one side, and also all the Blu-rays. So all the Blu-rays on one side, all the 4Ks on the other, and they're in one spool. So um, or in one hub, and I'm not, I'm not incredibly happy about that, but I'm glad I have all the movies on 4K. So if they go and start releasing them separately, I'm, I will not be double dipping on this. I've got what I want. All right, next up is Raiders of the Lost Ark. This, I bought this because I did not buy the white case. Um, I did not think the, the white box was, was good for all the white cases for the four movies. So, but I do, I do like the still book. It's really nice. And I want to show you, it comes with a little poster. Pretty cool. And that's the, the whole thing of a jiggy. It's very nice. The only thing is, look at the disc. The disc is the white disc, so the transfer is the same. If you guys already have the white case, unless you want the other steelbook, you're not going to get a different picture or sound or anything like that. It's the same transfer, or at least it looks the same to me. Because why would the why would the disc be white if it wasn't the same one? All right, next up is Morbius. I am not sorry I got this steel book. It is beautiful. I could have waited until it went down in price, but I pre-ordered this. You know, again, I pre-ordered it early. I pre-ordered it before hearing all the all the negative views about it. I watched the movie and it was all right. I, I, I liked it. I liked parts of it. Um, there was a little bit of an issue with the CGI and, you know, it's definitely one of the lowest scores that I've given a Marvel movie recently. So, but it is a beautiful steelbook design. All right. Next up is Edge of Tomorrow. This is the Best Buy one. Um, this is from Warner Brothers. And again, it's Blu-ray and DVD. I do like I I do like the artwork. Um, I've seen better though, but the transfer is really good. So I, I really like it. I don't know if it's the same transfer as the previous release, but it's nice. And the last one for this set is Universal Soldier. This is a 1995 movie, I think. Yeah, I put it in my I put it in my catalog, so it's fine. So again, it's from Lionsgate, so you got the slip. And then see how the the picture changes. I think this is neat. So and that's the back. 
and then that's the back of that. So, it's a really nice steel book, great artwork. And since it's Lionsgate, I think it should tell me if it's a first pressing. Definitely says pressing right there. Oh. Well, it's really hard to tell. Stop doing that. Yep. First pressing. Whew. Boy, that's hard. That is hard to read. Thank you, Movie Hunter, Movie Hunter 2020, for that advice. Um, all right, so that's it. That's an awesome set. <laughs> to recap, Hell or High Water, Smoking Aces, The Batman, Turning Red, The Untouchables, the Bourne Complete Collection, all the Jason Bourne movies, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Morbius, Edge of Tomorrow, and Universal Soldier. All right, that's it for me. Um, coming up will be another setup. Look for unboxings, um, town hall meetings, lives coming up. Uh, I have a live coming up on Saturday, so I look forward to that. You guys, stay tuned. There's more to come. Please like and subscribe, turn your notifications on, and if you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care.